Well, y'all, we went by Diggs Hunting and Fishing, and I came across this cool feeder, and we're gonna go give it a try. It is called the Apple Tree Game Feeder, uh, and that is the top of it, actually. We're gonna show you guys a little bit more of how it's set up. Probably show you guys a picture of what it looks like right now. Okay, so, right now we got it in the bed of the truck, and we're taking it down. I've got some uh, cob corn, and I got some shell corn, but you can see on the inside, there's like a big old plunger in there. And uh, in theory, you can fill this thing with apples, cob corn, sweet potatoes, uh, shell corn, and what happens is as the timer goes, it pushes, that plunger pushes up, and the corn, corn on a cob, apples, sweet potatoes, falls out of the top of the feeder and falls on the ground. Uh, it's got this big hoop on it so you can hang it up. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing today because I'm telling you, um, the hogs are going to tear this thing up if I put it on the ground. And uh, so he thought about that and he said that that's why he's got this hoop on it so you could actually hang it. Uh, so we're going to get off the ground. We've got a tripod feeder down there that hangs. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the old barrel feeder and I'm going to put that thing in there because I like the idea of putting uh, cob corn and apples in it and sweet potatoes. Uh, and I think it's a pretty neat deal. So all we got to do is set it up, put that top on it, and it uh, should be ready to rock. So excited to see how it works, guys. Um, I saw it in there, and I really didn't know what in the world was going on with it. And we're kind of, you know, kind of explaining exactly how it works. And, man, I had to pick one up try it myself. So we're headed out to the lease. Y'all come hang out with us and see how it works. All right, guys. So... This is where we're going to hang this feeder. As you see, we have a hanging feeder already. Um, but John, one of our team guys, tried to rig up a, um, a throttle body. And that way it would open and close and drop the corn down. Because the biggest problem is just a regular spreader. Just scared all of the deer and hogs. We weren't getting pictures of anything down here. So we're trying to figure out something quiet. So John made this unit and well... You know, all the squirrels, coons, and everything chewed up all the wires and it's all messed up. So um, so we're going to go ahead and utilize this, but this is actually a hanging feeder uh, because of all the hogs. And as you guys can see right behind me, all the hogs rubbing on the telephone pole right there, getting a creosote on them. we got a ton of hogs, especially in this bottom, so it's going to be a perfect place to try out this feeder. But we're going to drop it down and uh, go ahead and change them out real quick and test this apple tree and go ahead and get it down and we'll probably I guess we'll probably test it on the ground first see how it works and then we'll hook it up and send her on up it's not a very heavy unit this uh, composite so like I said when I first saw it I mean I thought it was pretty cool but let me see let me show you guys the legs now you guys can see the legs a little better but uh, as you can see it doesn't need to have any clearance really because feed comes out of the top not out of the bottom but for hogs that ain't gonna last no time so it's pretty cool that it's got that uh that hoop to hang it up so but we're gonna go ahead and get some corn in it i don't know how much it holds like i said we're gonna we're trying it out with you guys and I was told this is the uh, switch when you push the switch down it resets the plunger so we can test it a few times and then reset it so I'm gonna put the battery in it now it's got these two little thumb screws in there you just take them off this little door comes out inside it's got your wires and your timer so this was a little dusty because uh, David was showing me how it works. Um, so I had some corn and stuff. I guess it gets around the plunger a little bit. But so we just hook up just a regular feeder battery. Stick a little in there. All right, we got us a timer just like any other feeder so there's nothing really complicated about this this is your standard feeder timer so we're going to program it 
so let me see. So it looks like it's got six feed times on this one. So I have your clock. It is 4:45. Feed one. We're gonna do it at yeah, seven o'clock in the morning. That'll work. Okay. Duration. We're gonna do it for. Let's do it for five seconds. RPM high. So there you go. Feed one, seven o'clock. Feed two. Let's do. I say we do mid afternoon. So you figure, what? Four o'clock. That's the last hour of daylight. So we'll go ahead and set that. All right. Duration five seconds. All right. So there we go. Now the time set is ready. We're going to test it here in a second, but first, we're going to put the corn in it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cob, some persimmon, and kind of pack it in there. So I'm going to do the cob probably about a third three quarters and fill it up. But as I do it, I'm gonna fill it with the shell so that way it'll fill up all the space. And uh, we'll find out exactly how much this thing is gonna hold. Alright. So it looks like that's it. So, almost a whole bag of cob, and almost a bag of shell. So basically you could do a bag of cob and a bag of shell and just throw the rest on the ground, which is what I'm going to do. Now we're going to do the test. I don't know why I'm backing up. It's not like it's gonna sling everywhere. Alright. I guess the next one's probably gonna be for the good stuff. So you're gonna put the top on it, obviously. Let's see. The second test. Now, now that it's getting up. Guys, that's cool. I think that's gonna work. So, I'm happy with that. Five seconds is good. That's a good enough. I wonder how long it's gonna last. We're coming back here for the uh, Anson County big game hunt this weekend. That's why I'm here. I know it's prime time to be in the stand, but we're gonna be hunting down here uh, next weekend pretty hard. So I'm just baiting right now, but that works. I'm gonna put the door on it, put the top on it. I know you guys keep on seeing me eyeball that cable. I'm a little short, y'all. <laughs> probably have to get me a stick or something trying to get that cable down. <laughs> I want to hear no short jokes. Well, I'm so used to running like crazy so I don't get a shell corner of the eye at 200 miles an hour. That 
that is cool. Hey guys, I like this thing. Guys, this thing is cool. <laughs> One more test before I put a door on it, and we're done. No problem. And I don't know if I could give you a legit 100% accurate on how long it lasts because I've tested it, what, four times now? But man, this thing's just cool. <laughs> Guys, that thing is cool. Alright, enough. I'm done playing, y'all. I gotta go do a couple more bait sites. Man, I really like that thing, guys. That's uh, Apple Tree Game Feeders. Check them out. Uh, we're gonna tag them in the description. And uh, we'll put a link in the uh, comments below, but I like it, guys. You know, I've seen that thing up there for a while over at Diggs, but I'm glad I picked it up. Anyhow, I got a couple more things to bait up. I got to lug this thing back to camp and uh, get ready for the Anson County Big Game Hunt. We're down here all, all next weekend hunting. So I'll be able to report back to you guys and let you know how long it lasts in a feeder. It's not going to be 100% accurate because I've been playing with it. We probably hit test what four four times maybe but still should be a pretty good bit in there guys but we're gonna get to work and uh we'll see you guys next time